Okay, hello and welcome to the weather update. It's 9.30. Well, it's really 9.43 because I had a problem with my computer. I got to tell you, get rid of Zoom. If you got Zoom, get rid of it. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to just have this. The only reason I have it is because that's what I use to do my video conference with my therapist. But I'm telling her, look, we're just going to have to do it over the phone because I'm not, I don't trust that software. I don't know why they don't use Skype. Um, so if she wants to video conference with me, it'll have to be with Skype. I don't not like Zoom. That's some weird stuff going on there. What wound up doing is it, it wound up freezing my computer, and then uh, I looked at all the, um, I, and I saw it was running in the back of the memory, uh, and uh, that's what was causing the computer to slow down. And uh, uh, and, w and when I tried to pull up the, uh, when I pulled up the uh, task manager, all of a sudden I lost my screen resolution, and even after I ended the Zoom application. I couldn't, I couldn't get it back the way it was. It, the option wasn't there. I had to restart the whole computer. I got everything's back to normal. Uh, Zoom was doing something. It was spying on me. It was spying on me. Guys, you got to get rid of Zoom. I, I got to tell you, just get rid of it. I don't know why everybody's pushing the Zoom application. There's some real corruption, conspiracy. I don't know what it is. This is a weather update, so I'm just telling folks, if you got Zoom, get it off your computer. Get it off your machine immediately. Uh, so there's still some thunderstorm activity over in the Atlantic, but we had a lot of thunderstorm activity earlier on today. Uh, severe weather uh, across the area, and uh, we're going to get started with uh, some of these storm reports. Right now the city is reporting 72, um, but here's, the, here's a good po point I want to make here. This is still 80 degrees outside my window, so it's, a, it's just like 10 degrees warmer, 10 to 20 degrees. I mean, it was over 100 today in that alley outside my window, and that's why it's so hot, because I don't, can't get fresh air. Uh, it's literally it's an oven out there so that air conditioner has to work that much harder and it's an 8,000 BTU air conditioner by the way um, so uh, let's take a look at the storm reports first of all these are the storm reports this is from the uh, whole bunch of these so lots of reports of hail in Bergen County 1 inch 1.725 inch in Hasbrook Heights Lodi Paramus uh, the 60 mile an hour wind gust at Hasbrook Heights in Bergen County 1.75 inch hail in Moonaki in Bergen County. Uh, so Jersey got slammed. 43 mile an hour wind gusts at St. George in Staten Island. A flash flood in Bogota, Bergen, Bergen County, New Jersey. Multiple streets and vehicles flooded. Hail in Fairlawn, one inch, one inch hail in Glen Rock. Flash flood in Roselle, Union County, New Jersey. More hail in Bergen County. A flash flood in Garfield. River Road is flooded with multiple stranded vehicles. Thunderstorm wind damage in Ridgewood in Bergen County. 48 mile an hour wind gust in Mamaronac. Flash flood in River Edge in Bergen County. Mamaronac marine wind thunderstorm of 71 mile an hour. 71 mile an hour gust at Mamaronac. That's southern Westchester. 59 mile an hour wind gust at Laddingtown. That thund severe thunderstorm went just to our north. I'm gonna, I do a video uh, which I'll get around to posting of, the, of what it looked like today. Um, but wow, what incredible! And we still have to go over the storm reports from the other office. Hopefully, they'll have them available. And we, 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 we they don't. So uh, we'll, we'll have to uh, look for them. They always make them hard, don't they? Then load the computer is still being very slow. That zoom really screwed everything up. So you guys, guys, you got to get rid of that. I can't, I can't tell you enough. You got to get rid of that. Get rid of zoom. It's a spy. It's spyware. All right. Um, okay, I'll have to go look because they don't seem to have a. I have to go into look the text. Typical Mount Holly. They don't put a link up. Someone always annoys me with them. Local storm report. Let's see what we got here. Thunderstorm wind damage in Old Bridge. Trees and wires down. Pleasant Valley Road and Old Bridge. Let's go to an older one. I'll just go to an older one here. Thunderstorm wind damage in Wall Township in Monmouth County. Down trees and wires near Ridgewood Road and Allenwood. Thunderstorm wind damage in Manasquan. Down wires near Seagirt Avenue. Thunderstorm wind damage in, all right, that's Maryland. I'm not going to pay attention to Maryland. Camden County, New Jersey. Tree limbs and wires down near Columbia Boulevard and Cherry Hill. 
Tree limbs and wires down near Georgia Trail in Medford, Burlington County, New Jersey. That's in the Pine Barrens. Tree limbs and wires down in Marlton, Burlington County. So lots of reports of wires and trees down in New Jersey from these storms. So Mount Holly, trees and wires down. Wading River, four inch hail. Four inch hail? That's insane. That is insane. So there's a lot of severe weather going on. It looks like Burlington County was hit very hard. I see a lot of Burlington County reports. Middlesex County, tree down on wires near Ellis Parkway. Okay, so um, just a lot of a lot of damage uh, to a lot a lot of and there's still the severe thunderstorm watch that's still in effect. Let's let's get some of these observations up here on on the screen and we're gonna uh, take a look at the. High temperatures and the wind. Now, right now, temperatures have dropped into the low 70s. It's cooled off a lot since what it was earlier today. Uh, if we can look at the high temperature, we'll look at the high temperature for the day. You'll see what the highs were today. Oh, I have to go to historical. Waiting for it to load. Here we go. So, uh, temperatures made it into the 90s everywhere. Made it into the 90s everywhere. Uh, and you know the funny thing is News 12 was not saying it was going to get this warm today, but I had a feeling it would. You know, I'm starting to think News 12 South Shore is now only starting to forecast the weather for the South Shore as well. Because the temperatures are always being forecast. Like, they said it would hit like 86 or 87 today. Yeah, let me let me pull that up. Yeah, this was Rich, Hoff Rich Hoffman's forecast today. And you'll see there's no 90 in it. So, what is he, just forecasting for the South Shore? I Somebody said he wasn't he didn't like Rich Hoffman. Well, I think he's a good meteorologist, but I think he's 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 becoming South Shore centric like the other one. Thank God she wasn't on tonight. We had Rich Van Olsen who uh, handled things much better. But I'm tired of these. You know, you got to cover the weather for the whole island. But you know, it's News 12 South Shore. What do you expect? Yeah, I'm uploading a video. It's another video that uh, that's because uh, Irene got screwed up. I'm literally a half an hour behind because of the problem with the computer. Uh, so, uh, once again, temperatures uh, got well up into the 90s today. Zoom, I can't say it enough. If you have Zoom, delete it immediately. I never had a program do that to me before. Uh, that is the strangest thing ever. And it's very unnerving. Um, so, uh, looks like we got some mid-90s here. Mid-90s, uh, 100 degree rating. Is what was that? Uh, that was at New Gretna. So very hot. Upper 90s around Tom's River. And of course, this was the energy for the fuel for the storms. We had the heat on the island too. But then the temperature dropped quite drastically. Uh, if we, and I'll show you what I mean when we look at some of these observation stations. Um, so here is uh, Carl Place. Come on, get back on the screen. Uh, so uh, 90 degrees, down 74. Oh, it doesn't give me a chart. No. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at the precipitation now, all right? Because I'm sure they got a lot of rain there too, as well. So let's take a look at that precipitation. Oh yeah, it always does this. No, it's why does it do that? No, it should start at. All right. So not much rain on the island today. You can see not much. Um, the North Shore got hit by that cell, so they got a quarter of an inch. Uh, some of these, these, the, the severe weather was mostly to our west and our north. The city got, looks like they got a half an inch, 1.06 in New Rochelle there. But just north of there, hardly anything, so it's very localized. Jersey got hit very hard, though. We got a 2.89 at Teterboro. Wow, that's Teterboro? That's Teterboro Airport, 2.89 inches. So this whole area here got hit very hard by that cell. Uh, that popped up over uh, Middlesex County and uh, uh, and Edison and kind of worked its way northeastward. Um, and you could see 1.05 at Edison. Let's see what Tom's River did. Oh, look at that. A, a reading of 2.01 at Fork River. Uh, otherwise, 0 0.83, 0 0.70, 0 0.89 at Whiting. We head further west. Uh, and we see 1.26 in, uh, in the Pine Barren somewhere there. <laughs> Uh, 1.79, 2.95 at Hamilton, 1.88. So uh, some really bad storms. 
uh, over here. Look at look at this area too. Mount Holly, uh, 1.81, 2.53. So they really got uh, dumped on in this area here. Uh, some of the Philadelphia suburbs really got dumped on. Over two inches of rain. Look at that at 3.27. And the other because these weren't moving that fast. So, you know, once they hit, they kind of stuck around for a while. We could have used some of that rain. Uh, look at Atlantic City. They got a lot too. 2.13 in, in uh, it's like New Gretna. 1.31 uh, at the airport. 1.08 at Atlantic City itself. 1.88 uh, in Hamilton. 1.24 in Egg Harbor City. So, wow. Good amount of rain out there for. Uh, uh, Jersey, uh, but we we didn't really get into it, unfortunately. But but we have we have chances for rain coming up. We're going to talk about that as we get into the forecast again. So let's get to it. I would like to show you some pictures of some of the storm damage. Let's see if there is any. Let's see if there is. Sometimes they have it on times for a patch, but probably not. Let's see. Tom's River patch. All right, severe th 27,000 lost power from the thunderstorms. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if there are any pictures. There's some of the clouds. Ping pong size hail. Wow. So um, a lot of power outages, though. So I guess we'll look at that, and then we'll get to the forecast. I, I can't find any pictures. And I don't know where they are. So they're somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for them. We're just looking at the weather right now. And so, wow, we got a lot of outages in the Mid-Atlantic here. Mid-Atlantic, uh, Maryland's got 24,324, uh, and then that's followed by Pennsylvania, 12,996. New Jersey's down to 5,759, 5, so we'll go look at New Jersey, see which areas are impacted the most. Ocean, Burlington, um, and probably up here, yeah, Passaic, Bergen County, really... Uh, really some something with those storms uh let's go and take a look at uh pennsylvania and uh or maryland 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 is hard to set so we'll look at see what areas are impacted in maryland though i don't really talk much about the weather in maryland but they're baltimore queen anne's this is bad over here so what a mess over here it is uh so let's uh go take a look at the models and we'll see what's gonna be happening now because uh we got some changes are coming uh, as far as uh, the possibility of a good soaking rain. Uh, so uh, let's uh, first start with the upper air here. Okay, so you see that little ridge there. Uh, before before I do that, let me you know you can also see here's the satellite seal that bright white there from the thunderstorms. Before I do that, let me uh, just look at the weather prediction center so you can see what the current setup is here, or weather map for our area. So, you can see, uh, it's like a little, almost like a little backdoor cold front that came through, and that's why the temperatures dropped so much. So, yeah, I want to look at the temperatures here. I'll show you what happened at Farmingdale when this came through here, uh, because the temperatures dropped substantially. That's the other thing I got to talk about here. 74 degrees at Farmingdale right now, uh, but it was, it was, it got up to 91. But look at what happened. It went from 89 to 81 to 77 in a matter of hours. So it really cooled off. Uh, and that that was like a little bit of a backdoor cold front kind of coming through uh, so uh, See we got the ridge that ridge is gonna stick around, but then we have oh Where's the trough there it is all right? So you see this little trough here that's gonna develop here over the weekend. That's something we're gonna have to watch but uh, This doesn't look good long range the GFS wants to keep that ridge around quite a bit I thought we were gonna have a low form around Friday at least that's what it looked like. There was going to be a low around Friday. It was going to go and bring some rain, but I'm not seeing the, the reflection of that on. I'm seeing it more toward the weekend. And then that ridge comes back. All right, so uh, let's go to GFS, back to GFS. We'll look at the surface. And uh, we'll find it on the surface here. It's, it's, it's going to be somewhat, it could be possibly tropical in nature. So here we go. We got that ridge. Again, uh, a little, little cooler easterly flow tomorrow. Southeasterly flow, so it's going to be cooler. Uh, and then it's this, it's this right here that we have to watch. This is Thursday. That something get forming over the Carolinas there that could wind up going up the coast. Yeah, see, it's showing up here. Fine. So you see the troughs over here, so it's going up. Uh, this could be like a very weak tropical system, but it could bring us a good soaking rain on Friday, which we could certainly use. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. 
uh, with all everything going on today. Uh, let's uh, let's look at the NAM 12 kilometer, and we'll see what our next chances for rain are. That's the zero z. We we'll go to the 18 z. So uh, here you go. Here is what's going to happen tomorrow. I, th I think it'll be much quieter tomorrow, but we could see some light rain break out, maybe. Maybe some light rain break out, but then it wouldn't be until Thursday. Here's Thursday. And still, this only goes out to 06 Friday that we would see something. Um, let me look at the HRRR as well for tomorrow as far as the rain chances go. So you can get an idea of that. So I don't think we're going to see any severe weather tomorrow. Maybe more over New Jersey, but again, with cooler, cooler air around, I don't think it'll be that widespread. Well, let's take a look and see where our temperatures are going to go. As you'll see tomorrow, it's going to be a lot cooler than today. Um, so tomorrow, you can see temperatures a lot cooler. Temperatures, uh, especially further east, upper 70s, maybe closer to 80 in western Nassau. It's still probably in the mid-80s, maybe near 90 in parts of Jersey. Uh, and then for Wednesday, uh, we still avoiding the heat for the most part over the island, mid-80s, near 90 in Jersey. Similar thing for Thursday. Again, inland is where it's going to be worse. Friday, we have that... Obviously, with that rain, you're going to keep temperatures cool in the mid-70s. And then things heat up for the weekend again. Look at that. And then it gets hot for a while. It's, it's like I said, there's no real relief from this heat and this humidity. Um, it's going to be around for a while. We'll look at the dew points now on the GFS as well. And you will see here, not much relief from the humidity. You can see, you can see, you can see that there's a backdoor front. But you can see the drier air just won't get in. It looks like it's stuck off to the east, unfortunately, for tomorrow. And so we're kind of stuck in the humidity, and then it really returns to vengeance on Wednesday, Thursday. But if you look at the wind hours, you see them more from the south. So that means the more of a marine influence for Long Island. And there's that system that we're going to have to watch, this hybrid. This could be a tropical system, very weak one going up the coast or right along the coast. I can't imagine it getting very strong, but you see that strong southerly flow and no real dry air in sight going all the way through. You can see, uh, you know, I mean, there's just no relief. We're just stuck. The jet stream is missing in action for us, unfortunately. Well, look at the skies. You can see uh, plenty of clouds around tomorrow. I don't think we'll have that much sun. I will have clouds around Wednesday, too. Thursday, you know, there'll be a little sun. We had sun today uh, before it clouded over, and it was hot. And here's those clouds for Friday. That, I mean, it's just not, not a great-looking pattern we're in here. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, and it's it's all related to the jet stream. If we if we go to the North America view, you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's uh, look at that jet stream, and then I'm gonna wrap up this weather update. It's getting a little long in the tooth. Uh, okay, so uh, you can see where is the jet stream? Where is the jet stream? There is no, the jet stream is very weak, and it's way up in Canada. So the cool dry air is trapped up near the poles, and we're stuck in the heat and the humidity. And it's not just us; it's the whole country. So I think that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thank you for watching.